Let me introduce you guys to the new Fedora region, a brand new Pokemon Fakemon region based on Newfoundland, but more broadly based on Canada. Now our two protagonists are Jig and Fly, and our professor is Professor Spruce, whose name follows the theme of Pokemon professors being named after plants and trees because it's based off the Spruce Evergreen tree. Now Newfoundland is very well known for its fishing, so there's going to be a lot of fishing references here, and we can even see it with Jig and Fly definitely look like fishermen. Now this is created by Piba Koi Fish, who you can find on Instagram, and I'll link their Instagram down in the description below, so go and check them out. But for now, let's get into it and let's pick our starter Pokemon. Our grass starter is called Moose, which I think is fantastic as a name. Obviously, it's called Moose, but it's also combining moss as well because it's got a very mossy back and always got like a little bit of a hump on its back that looks like a mountain as well. It evolves into Lupabo, which is now a grass and rock type Pokemon, and it has the word Caribou in its name. And as you can see, it's got some flowers or like seeds in its antlers now as well but of course that rock on its back has gotten much bigger and of course moss all around it still and then lastly evolves into signaloose obviously looking like a fully grown moose it's got massive antlers and of course that tail has now sort of got that flower bud or the flower of course covered in moss as well looks very very cool our fire type starter is orcanzel which is really interesting to have a whale pokemon as a fire type pokemon and not as a water pokemon so i do like that a lot but obviously combines the word candle and its name as you can see it's got a flame on the spout and also on the end of its tail as well, but it looks very friendly. Evolving into Kill Oil, which is now Fire and Ghost type, and the wax is like melts, it almost forms like a skull over its head, but you can also see that the tail light has extinguished now, doesn't look so friendly now. And then lastly evolves into Bloodburns, which I think this looks fantastic. Just the fire throughout the entire body looks very, very cool, and of course fits the Newfoundland references a lot because lots of whale and blubber and whale oil. Big export in Newfoundland. And you can see that wax is made like a skeleton along its back as well. And next, our water type starter is actually water and normal type Pokemon is New Float. It's obviously a cute dog, but it's got like a buoy or a life-saving ring around its neck as well. But more specifically, it's based off a Newfoundland dog, but I think that is very cute. Evolves more into like a Labrador now called Labrigard. Obviously like based on a lifeguard as well, but definitely it's very friendly and very happy and just like a Labrador. And then lastly, it evolves into Newfoundingy. And as you can see, that looks like a giant dog. It's actually got six legs and it's now more like a boat. It looks like a life-saving boat. Let me know what starter you're going to pick, guys. I think I'm going to pick the fire type starter. I absolutely love that entire line. But let me know down in the comments which starter you're going to pick. Going into Route 1 now, our Route 1 rodent is called Burmine, a normal and ice type. And it looks like it's not a fan of the cold. It looks like it's shivering and it's got like little icicles coming off its whiskers. But it evolves into Scoat, which is now an ice and fire type Pokemon. Definitely looks like it's adapted to the cold. It's got like a big fur coat around it. Nice and roasty toasty, so I love that. It's actually based on a stoat. Our root one bird is called Fluffin, pure flying type Pokemon that's based on a puffin, but just looks like a little baby chick. It's almost got like a life jacket or a life preserver around it to keep it afloat. Evolves into Aerofin. As you can see, the puffin has gone much bigger now. It's starting to fly as well. It's even got some fish in its mouth. And we don't have any puffin Pokemon, so it's really cool to have a puffin Pokemon here. And then lastly, evolves into Palfin Dive. Definitely looks very aggressive and I don't know, it's that mouth. It's almost got like teeth on it as well. Doesn't look so weak anymore like the first evolution did. That looks really nice. And of course, our Route 1 bug is Larbait. And it's actually looking like a fishing lure, which kind of makes sense because it's a bug. It's got that big hook on the tail as well. It evolves into Pubob, so now I'm also looking like a fishing bobber. And of course, it still has a hook as well. I told you there's going to be lots of fishing themes in this region. And then lastly, evolves into Mosquito, which looks like a mosquito. The proboscis of the mosquito has become a fishing hook as well. Next, we have Minikachur, which is a poison grass type Pokemon. And it looks like a cute little little frog, but it's kind of wrapped up in, in petals from a flower. And then evolves into Peacher, which is now more so like a picture plant. So think of like your victory bells as well. But as you can see, it looks like a giant frog. That picture plant is actually the frog. So it's actually the tongue that's coming up, making that flower obviously to use it like as bait as well. So very cool combination of a picture plant and a frog together. And then its last evolution is Perpetua. So that frog is now massive and the picture plant is massive as well. That bait is almost like the first evolution. Evolution, I think. That's kind of what it looks like. So it's almost using the first evolution as bait. I'm not sure. Next is Ampetana, the electric and bug type Pokemon, which is based on an ant, but also like the antennas kind of form like antennas that you'll see for like TVs or something like that. And even its mandibles kind of look like little lightning bolts, which is very cool. And it evolves into Satellis, which looks very angry and almost looks like a queen ant. And you can see it's got like a big stinger on the end of it as well. Before we get to the next one, guys, I do have some exciting news. And that is that I just started multi-streaming on 
both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So if you want to catch me live, you can check me out here on YouTube or on Twitch at the times below. So make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you guys there. Put over there with my pile of other stickers. Next, we have a normal and dark type Pokemon called Peak, and it looks like an oozy egg. It evolves into Cloakin, and that is really interesting. This is actually a disguise Pokemon. It looks like there's eyes coming out at the bottom of the egg there, and it almost looks like a giant eye in its mouth as well, which is kind of creepy, actually. This actually has a split evolution based on whether it's male or female. The female version is called Hen Cognito, so obviously based on a hen, the female version. And again, lots of eyes in the mouth there. Very, very creepy, but where its eyes would normally be, just small little circles. And then our male version is called Rooster. Obviously makes sense being a hen or a rooster. This is actually fighting in dark type Pokemon, so that's a cool combo. And next we're going into what is the Pika clone of the region. So it's called Kitsuot. Of course, based on a beaver. You can't have Canada without a beaver Pokemon. As you can see, it's got those big cheeks like a Pikachu, and it's got a big lightning bolt on its massive tail as well. And then evolves into Dervolt, which is now an electric and ground type Pokemon. Looking like a big, chunky boy. I can kind of see why it's a ground type as well. Looks like it's got mud on its back. Next is Toastella the fire and fairy type Pokemon looking like a roasted marshmallow but I have to show you the shiny version because I love it the flames become blue which I think is perfect very very cool I do love that and you can see all the other shinies for every single Pokemon on Peeba Koi Fish's Instagram as well if you want to check that out it evolves into small tent so we can see roasted marshmallow but obviously looking like a s'more as well but it kind of forms like a tent next is a tackle which is a dark and steel type Pokemon it does not evolve it kind of reminds me of the gimme gold chest form because it's got like a massive chest but obviously like a tackle box with heaps of hooks in this. Our first Psyche type Pokemon. Psychic and Ground actually is Cyan Pip, which is based on a Piper Bird. As you can see, it has some Psychic abilities as well. And evolves into Shawbinder. And it looks like it's dancing actually, almost like doing the, the Flamenco or something. Does look very happy doing a dance there. Next is a very interesting Pokemon called Rochambeau, which of course is another name for Rock, Paper, Scissors. It is a Rock and Steel type Pokemon. And it looks like Rock, Paper, Scissors. I assume this Pokemon has a lot of luck involved or a lot of random in it for sure when it's battling. Next is Rabu, which is a real ghost type Pokemon. Obviously like a rubber boot or a gum boot of some kind, but definitely has like some kind of spirit or element stuck inside it as well. But the little face on the toe of the boot actually looks very cute and very happy. And then evolves into Goulosh. You can see that rubber boot is now starting to fall apart, I think. But that ghostly spectral element, as you can see with those eyes. We now have our first new Fedorian Pokemon, which is a new Fedorian Meowth. For some reason, Meowth is it's just the Pokemon that gets billions of different forms. Pure rock type Pokemon is based on a Bobcat, so that looks very, very cool. And of course, evolves to our new Fedorian Persian. Again, looking like a Bobcat, but obviously more like an adult Bobcat now. And here is our Daily Bird, which you might have noticed with our Professor Spruce. This is the Pokemon that the Professor has. Normal and water type Pokemon. Looks very cool. Definitely like a fisherman. It's got a life jacket on. It's got like a sack. Instead of presents, it's got like some rocks or shells maybe in there. Going through a few more new Fedorian Pokemon. We've got Miracu. It goes to normal type. Definitely looks like he's wearing an outfit based from Canada or from Newfoundland. Next is Pawniard, which is actually steel and poison type Pokemon now. So it almost looks like it's got some kind of gas mask or something over its face to protect itself from its poison. Its arms have actually got like smoke grenades or smoke bombs coming from it. Of course, it evolves into Bishop and it's got like those big rubber gloves that are actually bringing out some poison in there as well and a massive gas mask. But I absolutely do love the new Fedorian Magnemite. It's Magnemite, but it looks like a buoy or almost like a crab in there as well. So it's a pure water type Pokemon, very different to previous Magnemite. Evolves into Crabbuoy. So now it's like a big buoy that you would find in the water. Not evolved into Magneton, but it does have three heads like Magneton would. And then lastly, evolves into Crabboiler. So it's got that massive, almost like an oil rig or an oil refinery out in the water with fire coming out the top of it as well. Very, very interesting take on the Magnemite line. I like it a lot. And I also love the new Fedorian Phalanx. Definitely Viking themes over here. You can see they've got the Viking helmets and shields and horns on their helmets as well, even though that's historically not correct. Still has the horns on their helmet, which is very cool. But it actually has a new evolution in Skalink Skip. This is our Phalanx evolution. This looks amazing, looking like a Drakkar or a Viking longboat. Definitely makes sense to have our Phalanx evolve into something like this as well. And it is an Ice and Dragon type Pokemon. Next, we have a brand new Evolution, and I do love Evolution Fake Mon. I actually have a video on Evolution Fake Mon, which I'll put in the top corner if you want to see a whole video on them. And this is a flying type Evolution. As you can see, it's got like some clouds around its neck and of course a hot air balloon on its tail. Next is Gilly Chick, which is a steel flying type Pokemon, which is of course a bird chick, but it's actually based on a ghillie suit as well, which is going to be used for camouflage. So it's got to be a Pokemon that camouflages a lot. And that makes a 
lot of sense as it evolves into Sniperch. It looks like a crane. And if you have a close look at the eye and the beak, it looks like the end of a sniper rifle, which makes a lot of sense. Ghillie suit and snipers definitely go well together. Next is Frivia, which almost looks like a Tatsuguri, actually, but it's actually based on fish fry or baby fish eggs. So pure water type Pokemon. It evolves into Borealmon. So this is now looking more like a salmon. And then it lastly evolves into Salmagro. So a very aggressive, angry looking salmon type Pokemon. It looks very big as well, actually, with some massive teeth there. It's actually water and dark type Pokemon now. Next is Blitz Jay, which is a flying electric type Pokemon. Doesn't really look like an electric type Pokemon, but it is based on a blue Jay. So it has kept that coloring, which I think is very cool. Bora Aura, obviously based on the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis. Looks like a snowman, but with that scarf using the colors of the Aurora Borealis. And then it evolves into Winter Buggin. So it's got those same elements, but now it has a toboggan as well. And the snowman looks very, very happy riding on his toboggan. Next, I absolutely love this Pokemon. And Angry Goose, I think is perfect for a Canadian region. And it's actually a dragon and flying type Pokemon, which is very, very interesting as well. There's a reason I added this to the thumbnail because I think it looks fantastic. And its evolution may be even better as it evolves into Codragoon, now a dragon and poison type Pokemon. Obviously very angry. It's got that long neck, but I love that like the crest around its shoulders and its chest almost makes like a skull. It has massive wings like dragon wings. Next, we have Prinpow, which is a pure fighting type Pokemon. And it looks like a boxer or like a wrestler as well. And it definitely looks like a wrestler now as it evolves into Kingmon Dog. As you can see, it's got like some teeth. It's got a gold tooth. It's missing a tooth. This is actually based on the Moon Dog King, which is apparently a Canadian wrestler. I've never heard of them. Might be big in Canada though. And what an honor to have a Pokemon made after you, I think. Now, next, we've actually got a few Pokemon that have the same design as Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy being one small little Pokemon, but if you combine them all together, has a different form. So first we have Investigator, which is a small little rat, but if you combine a bunch of these small little single form rats together, it makes a massive crocodile. The next one is Wormor. So again, we've got our single form, almost looks like a dragonish tadpole kind of thing, but of course makes like a big Leviathan as it becomes a wavering form. If you combine a lot of the single forms together, what a dragon type Pokemon. And then the last one is Nosaluet, which is a dark and bug type. Lots of little bug type Pokemon all together make this very sinister, evil looking Pokemon. Kind of humanoid with arms and legs. It looks like it's got a big coat on it as well. Next, we're going into the three fossil Pokemon for the region. First, we have Grok, which is a rock and ghost type Pokemon. This is actually based on the Great Orc, which is an extinct flightless bird, which kind of looks like a puffin and a penguin together. But really interesting on the beak, it looks like the fossil of a fish as well. And then evolves into Rorker Spine. So now it's more like a Spinosaurus. So you can see that big bony spine on its back, but you can still see it's got that fish bone in the mouth as well, which is very, very cool. But it's still got elements of the bird on it, like it's got webbed feet and like little wings as well. The next fossil is Mammoth, which is a rock and ice type Pokemon. And it's a little mammoth baby. That massive trunk that it's got almost makes like a false head on the end of it. And that design absolutely flies, I think, with its evolution. Bracken Mammoth, you can see it's still a mammoth, but that massive trunk definitely makes it look like a Brachiosaurus especially because it's got like nostrils and like a little bit of snow on the head and a false eye as well. And then our last one is Flaffasaur. This Pokemon looks crazy. Look at the eye and that laughing face that it's got. It's actually based on a Dilophosaurus, which normally has a giant frill. You can see the flames around the neck there are making that frill. And then lastly evolves into Snickersonus. You can see that fiery frill has gotten much larger. It's still got fire on its head and its tail as well. It's still got that sort of laughing cheeky expression on it as well. Our next new Fedorian Pokemon is new for drawing vanilla which is now an ice and grass type Pokemon. And instead of being based on ice cream, it's actually based on maple syrup. And as you can see, it's got little maple leaves on its cheeks as well. Of course, we're kind of a Canadian region without maple syrup. And it evolves into vanillish. And you can see that massive maple leaf on its face as well then, covered with drippy, oozy maple syrup. But then its last evolution is different. It's actually called Cyroyal. So it has the word syrup in its name there. It's a very regal Pokemon. That maple leaf has almost formed like a bit of a crown on its head, but it still has drippy maple syrup oozing off it. And I do love the new Fedorian Timber. Now a fighting and grass type Pokemon. That massive log that it's holding, it is now based on a Lumberjack. And we're going to see that as it evolves through the rest of the line as well. It evolves into Lumber, which I think is a fantastic name. As I said, evolving into what looks like a Lumberjack. It's got the beard. It's got a massive axe like a Lumberjack. And even like the overalls like a Lumberjack as well. And then again, a new evolution. Instead of Conkledur, we have Deforester. And again, looking like a Lumberjack. Massive logs. It's got the overalls. It's got the beard. And even like, it's got like a mohawk on its head, but it's actually an axe instead. The new Fedorian Yamask actually looks very, very sad. It's a water and ghost type Pokemon. 
Pokemon and it's holding like a life preserver. But I think his evolution looks amazing. Wreck of Regis. So it obviously looks like a boat that's sinking and it's got the life preservers with rope coming out of it. Next is Pubble, which I think looks so cute. It looks like a little pebble or a boulder and it's a pure rock type Pokemon, but it looks very cute. Then it evolves into Rockapoo, which is based on a Cockapoo dog. Rock and Fairy type now. Very cute. And as you can see, it's got a pink love heart gem on its chest as well. Next, I absolutely love this line idea. Bug and normal type Hootapilla. So it's a Caterpillar Pokemon, but as you can see, it disguises like a Hootoot. It's got like a Hootoot eyes and it's got a Hootoot foot as well. And that's because it doesn't want to be bothered by other birds. So it disguises like one instead. And then evolves into Noctomorph. Now the Caterpillar has gone into like a moth and you can see it's now looking like Noctowl rather than Hootoot as well. As you can see the eye in the wing there. So now we actually have a pre-evolution for Delmise called Cast Lure. So it's a ghost and grass type Pokemon just like Delmise. And you can see that Delmise eye is like the reel of the fishing line as well. And next we actually have a pre-evolution for Shuckle, another Pokemon that doesn't have an evolution yet. I think this looks so cute. It almost looks like a little diver's helmet, I think. It evolves, of course, into our new Fedorian Shuckle, which almost looks like an underwater mine instead. Looks very angry and aggressive now. And then actually has the third evolution in Shubnautical, so it's now become become a submarine and still has a very angry looking head at the top of that submarine which I think looks really cool. We have a pre-evolution for Smeagol. This is a normal and steel type Pokemon. I think this looks really cute. I love Gafop. The tail, instead of having a paintbrush on the end of it, actually has a fishing hook instead, but it's got like a fisherman's hat and stuff as well. And then of course our new Fedorian Smeagol, again, has a fishing hook on it and is using its tail like a rod, which I think looks very, very cool. I love that idea. Again, very, very different to the normal Smeagol. And then next is Codger, which is a fighting type Pokemon. Does not look like much. This definitely looks like the Magikarp of the region. Very, very derpy. Even has derp in its name, but it's actually based on a Cod. Codzilla. Amazing name like Godzilla. This is a fighting and dragon type Pokemon. Definitely our derpy, weak, nothing kind of fish evolving into Codzilla. This Pokemon looks so cool. It's almost like loafing around as well. Almost like a slacking. Next, we have Pilma, which is a pure bug type Pokemon. This is actually based on a pill bug. Curled up like a ball, but almost has like glasses or a helmet over its head as well. It evolves into Sensor Speed, which reminds me a lot of a Whirlipede. And as you can see, it looks like a tire. It looks like it's going to be gaining some speed. It's now a bug and ground type Pokemon. It's even kicking up some mud. This actually has a split evolution. So the first one is Wee Velocity, which of course looks like a motorbike. Kind of looks like Coridon and Maridon as a motorbike there. But the other evolution it could be is now more like a quad bike. It is Quadurtle. You can see you've got those four wheels. Next we have Fenocone, pure grass type Pokemon and has a pine cone as its tail, which I think is a really cool idea. And then evolves into Foxmas, which I don't know about that expression. You would think like a Christmas kind of Pokemon, especially from what the pre-evolution was, would be very happy. But and then next we have Hort Noir, which is a steel and ghost type Pokemon. Obviously based on like a bear trap, and you can see the chains there as well. But this actually has a four-way split evolution. Depending on the Pokemon that you attack while using Hort Noir, it has a different kind of evolution with different stats. So first is the defense form, which of course obviously looks like a Diggersby. And you can see that bear trap around the body and the chains coming off the hands as well. This is a ghost and dark type Pokemon. The next one is the Swordsbuck version, which is the speed version. So you can see it's definitely got some spectral elements as well. The coloring definitely makes it look like the ghost of the Pokemon. I love the bright eyes that it has as well. Next, the HP version, of course, has to be a Snorlax. Got that bear trap around it. There's the HP version. And then the last one is the attack version, which is a Lycanroc. So that looks fantastic. Again, that spectral element with the bright eyes on all four of the Pokemon. Going into next, the pseudo legendary for the region. This is a dragon electric type Pokemon called Lantern. And obviously it looks like a dragon, but it's got little electric bolts coming off it for its wings and on the end of the tail as well. But it looks very friendly as a baby dragon. Evolves into Bicon. It's interesting that it has the word Bi in its name because it has two heads, Bi meaning two. So a two-headed dragon. Very yellow now. Definitely got some electric feel to it, I think. And then lastly, evolves into Lydradora. It looks like a lighthouse. You can see it's definitely very bright at the top of its head as well. And it's got the name like Hydra or Ghidorah, meaning dragons in the name. So that is very cool. It's got three heads like a Hydra as well. Now next we're going into our two legendary Pokemon and then our four mythical Pokemon for the region. Starting off with Lichen Yam, which is a dark and grass type. I love the look of this Pokemon. It is obviously based on a massive grizzly bear, but it's very forestry, earthy, mossy around it as well. It has like a big wreath of flowers around it too. And even has some spiky vines around its 
paws as well. And our other legendary is Humbug, the Dark and Ice type Pokemon. And again, another legendary I absolutely love. I think the artist has done such a good job. Obviously based on a humpback whale, but has got some icebergs on it as well for that entire lower jaw. It's got some iceberg bumps on its back as well. And I would find it very difficult to choose between the two legendaries. I love them both. Now going into our four mythical Pokemon, they are all very similar in their designs. So first, Fairy Poison type Quablo. As you can see, it's like a little teddy bear. It almost looks like it's levitating as well, but its tail makes like a little little flower or fruit on the end of it with some leaves. Next is Urbel, the fairy and fighting type Pokemon. And this one definitely looks kind of courageous. Almost reminds me of a Care Bear. I think I think like the red heart in the middle of it definitely makes me think of a Care Bear, but similar themes. Next is Biovon, the fairy and flying type. So you'll see that all of these are fairy type as well. Again, we've got some different fruit on the tail, different expression. And now we have our last mythical, which is not part of the trio that we had before. This is Mowlink, which is a psychic and electric type Pokemon. So it's obviously a mouse. It almost looks like a Dr. Seuss character. I think the expression and like the shape of its face massive electricity coming from it in all sorts of different directions as well What an amazing region guys. Let me know your favorite Pokemon down in the description I think my favorites were Blubberant, Codragoon, Deep Forester, and I'm going to cheat and say both of the legendaries Make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon and Fakemon videos and check out some of my other Fakemon videos too. Cheers